Well, welcome, everyone. It's good to have you. Uh, welcome to the intro to McCombs. We're excited to be talking more to you about what the Coe School of Business here at the University of Texas at Austin. So to just kick it off here, so we have a full house of individuals, starting with Stacey Batas, who's the director of full-time MBA recruiting and admissions. She's been with the team for a number of years and has been recently promoted to that role. So big congratulations to her. I am Manolo Alvarez. I'm a second year MBA, specializing in finance and currently recruiting for my after graduation role. We're looking hopefully in finance, as I just said. And we're also joined by Andrew Pett, who is a, a first year MBA, uh, soon to be a second year, is recruiting into consulting and, and we're very excited to have everyone here. So just starting off, we, of course, joining any MBA program, you are gonna be a student again for a certain amount of years for two with us. And really the classroom experience is focused around these three core pillars at the Common School of Business. It is a team-based learning model, meaning that you are split up into study teams from your cohort. So we divide our class into four cohorts. And within those four cohorts, you are divided into study teams of about five to six people from diverse backgrounds, diverse not only in terms of your past experience, but also culturally. Uh, and, and in every way that, that we can to ensure that you are getting as, as diverse an experience as possible. And you are doing a lot of the courses, a lot of the homework as a team uh, for your first semester. And, and you are essentially building that network and we designed the program for you to exactly have that. And within that entire first year, we are giving you the common core experience, which we'll go of over in the next slide. And this common core is as we say, as professors have said multiple times, it's to make you dangerous in the class, in the in the boardroom. And to that extent, we don't mean in a bad way. We mean that if you are a finance executive in a boardroom and the CMO walks in, we want to make sure that you have the experience, the core foundational knowledge to be able to have a conversation with that marketer. Or if an account comes in, or if the operation comes in, you are able to understand what is being said, and you can communicate well and effectively to be able to hold your own within those. And we give that common core experience to make sure that everybody has these fundamentals of business in this uh, environment. And of course, it's all taught by top ranked faculty at Macomb. So these are people who are renowned in their uh, field from a research perspective, whether they're PhDs in academics or from a, a, an experiential perspective as well. We have multiple executives that have come back. A good call out is the president of the Utimco, found, uh, fund, which is the investment fund that manages the endowment of both the University of Texas at Austin and Texas A&M University. He now teaches a class on investment theory and practice, and he has come back because he loves this place and wants to make sure that people have the foundational knowledge to do so and to be out there and be able to exceed in the, in the places they want to. So the classroom experience is meant to give you this well-rounded, team-based, common core experience taught by some of the best faculty that, that really we have to offer. So I touched a little bit on it here in the customizer curriculum, but you can see in that first year, first semester, most of the time is spent on the common core. So you are finding the financial accounting, the statistics, the marketing, the operations, everything that we want to make sure that you are given the fundamentals on. But really what I want to focus in on here is the just breadth of custom core and electives that you can take. You have the ability to make this MBA your own, and we'll go over some of the courses that you can pick and I'll have Andrew give some anecdotes of someone that he's not excited about, but really it is a complete blank canvas for you to come in here and get the exact MBA experience that you want to. We do offer concentrations to help guide you as you're picking what courses to take. Now, if you are an international applicant and you are interested in that STEM designation to uh, get the OPT and extend your, your visa status, then you will have to declare a concentration within your first semester. However, everybody else, if you uh, don't want to declare and you just want to pick and choose from different concentrations and use them as guides, that is absolutely what many people do. That is what I'm doing. I guess at this point, a corporate finance, accounting on corporations and supply chain and operations management concentration, because I, I've almost filled all the requirements for all those concentrations. So it's great. All of them are great guides and you can definitely see what courses you need to be taking if you're interested in these fields. Some sample elective courses here that you can fill that, that gray area in on the customized curriculum slide that we saw. 
Behavior, game theory, and team management. Excellent class. So look how game theory and biases really play into team management and how teams are, are run. We also have the former Dean of McCombs, Dr. Tom Gilligan, coming back to teach tech policy to see how productivity advancements and at firms and economies of scale really go together. And finally, not everything here is business and it's, it's not always spreadsheets and finance and whatnot. We also have food entrepreneurship. We're a big entrepreneurship school because we know that people come with diverse backgrounds and interests. And so this is taught by Marissa D. Epstein, who used to be the director of Michelle Obama's Let's Move Initiative. And she goes over what is it like to start your own CPG company? What considerations you need to have if you want to uh, make a drink company of sorts? And finally, one that I personally love and have taken leading people in organizations. And this goes through the soft skills that we need to be teaching more people. And especially in McCombs, we take that very seriously. One of our past slogans for the McCombs School of Business was uh, where leadership is earned, and it still very much is. But now we're doing a human-centered future focus on it. And this class is achieving both of those. So I'll pause there. Andrew, do you have any electives that you have taken or taken so far or that you're excited about? Because I know you just registered for a class. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. Uh, and I'm such a nerd. I'm really excited for time series forecasting. Um, but a little context, I had Tom Shively as my statistics professor and I entered statistics like many MBA students, not incredibly excited, uh, but he made it one of my favorite classes, fall one. So I'm really excited to be jumping in with him in fall two um, to really do what Manola was talking about, becoming more dangerous in the boardroom is something that I think is a, really a focus here and it's really cool. Yeah, and that's actually a new course too, time series analysis, I believe. So Professor Shively is amazing and he definitely brings passion to statistics. So not surprised that you are registered for that. Uh, in addition to the classroom, we also want to make sure that students come out with an experiential experience to the MBA. So this is getting out and actually applying what you learn in practice. So we have what is called the McCombs Plus Project and projects, uh, excuse me, the McCombs Plus Program and the McCombs Plus Projects are like mini micro consulting engagements with companies, including the ones you see here, to help them on a goal, need, or initiative that they're trying to do. And the MBA team, again, team-based model, will help with research, maybe execution, uh, in-depth analysis of spreadsheets or data, and, and be able to offer recommendations back to the company. And those do last a semester. You can do one every semester you're an MBA here if you'd like, but most people usually do them in their first fall semester or in the spring of their first year. Maybe some second years would do it in the first uh, in the fall of their second year. Integral to the McCombs Plus program is also the one-on-one -on -one coaching that we offer with communication coaches and career coaches as well, as well as industry consultants. So these are the breadth of knowledge that are available to MBA students day one that you can take advantage of, of a maximum of eight hours per year. And you can do everything from how to value sell, how to pitch your, uh, your story, your walking through your resume, maybe how to understand what the industry is doing and where it's going and how you should be evaluating an offer. So these are definitely things included. We also have seminars and workshops that are included in the McCombs Plus program, things like evaluating an offer, which is going on right now, difficult conversations in work or managing a diverse workforce, all seminars and workshops taught by career consultants, industry consultants, and communications coaches that are all available to us. We also have global programs, which I'll touch on in a later slide. But touching on what you can actually start to get into once you're a student, so we do have fellows groups and investment funds, and these are more in-depth clubs, and we'll go through clubs in a second, that are offered to students. So you can see, you can do an MBA investment fund if you want to actually actively manage a small portion of the McCombs Endowment uh, under the direction of uh, a chief investment officer, as well as advisors who are past alumni and McCombs MBA investment fund alumni. Things like marketing fellows and operations fellows are great forays into a new industry or a new function if you're career switching, as well as maybe building upon some knowledge you already have. For example, I'm an operations fellow and it's excellent to see that I am still learning even though I came from operations. And I'll pause there. Andrew, are you in any of these? I am. I just got accepted to be a board fellow this year, which I'm extremely excited about. I'll be working with the uh, Austin Symphony Orchestra. Nice. So and very, what, very excited. Like what is a board fellow in like 30 seconds? What is, 
Yeah, a board fellow is a student who is a non-voting member of a nonprofit board, and they work on a particular strategic project for that nonprofit over the course of a year um, to help them improve their general business operations. Yeah. And that's just one of the ways here at McCombs that it's a learning process, it's an experiential process, but it's also about giving back. So that's one of the ways we do exactly that. So congrats. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. So I touched on it a little bit, global opportunities that are available to MBA students. There is a whole host of ways to get out of Macombs, out of campus, even though campus is really nice, which we'll go over. But you can do Macombs Global Connections. So these are two week excursions during spring break, where whereas in, in the beginning of the semester or end of the semester, you're actually learning what you're going to be studying in country. You can do a semester exchange programs, double degree programs with different institutions. We actually have some institutions globally that are sending their double degree programs students here. So we have some individuals from Sweden, Germany, Copenhagen, um, I believe South Africa as well. Short term study abroad, if that interests you as well, you can take some time in the, in the semester and go abroad and finish in a shorter term. There's leadership in Patagonia as well as the McCombs Adventure Program, which is done prior to the MBA program starting. So you get to go to Mexico, uh, to different parts of Mexico and learn about how business is conducted, maybe in rural Mexico or maybe in a more entrepreneurial type of, excuse me, Touch on it, there are a ton of our organizations at McCombs you can get involved with. It's really interesting, really fun. The main suggestion that many second years give is that you pick three. So one professional, one fun, and one service oriented. Uh, so you can do maybe a graduate finance, a black graduate business, and then MBA soccer club, or healthcare association, and Latin American Hispanic MBAs, and then maybe food and bev, food and beverage innovation club. So, there's a whole host of things you can get involved in. If you don't see something on here, you just have to find people that are interested in it with you and you can actually start your own. All of these organizations are student run, student led and student started. So you can just see how much they want to see us bring our interest to the classroom and to the McCombs experience at whole. So going into the McCombs community and the University of Texas Austin, the program size is about 250 students, which I'll cover in, in a later slide. And we do that to offer an excellent faculty to student ratio of about four to one. And this really does come across in your interactions with faculty in their office hours. They're willing to take the time to talk to you to learn about what you're interested in and the goals you might have. We do have the best program culture, engaged and supported student, staff, faculty, and alumni. And when you look outside of McCombs, UC Austin is one of the most innovative universities in the world, dedicated research centers to make sure that we're staying on the cusp of new business. And as we'll touch on, you have access to courses at the rest of the graduate programs at the university within a couple of restrictions. And you can really make this experience what you want in and out of the business school. And outside, just as campus, I have pictures to show this, but we have live music, art, health, fun, recreation, our football team, our athletics, the soccer, volleyball, baseball, base, basketball, anything you can imagine, we, we have it here. And it's a lot of fun to experience everything as a whole. So Robert B. Rowling Hall, this is where the MBA program is housed. This is where you were taking the majority of your classes, if not all. And it is five stories. And really the idea here is that it is open, it is airy. The design of the building was to be like a geode cut down the center. So you can see kind of how that works with the, the dark metal and the limestone and the glass. And at night and in early, really all day, this is a beautiful place to be, a beautiful place to study. And it, it just invites a nice transparent atmosphere. And in addition, we do have some fun here. So we have Moon Tower Cafe down on the first floor, MBA gym on the basement. And then we actually just had our last tailgate of the semester right here in this courtyard. So we will set up here. It is, it is admission only for MBA students and McCombs alumni and students uh, you have to pay for. It, but it is an excellent time to just experience Texas football at home in front of the same building that you take classes in. So it's a lot of fun. There's, there's no shortage of study rooms here, over 50 of them, and all different types too. So I'm, I'm in one example of one, which is really cool. So I touched on it a little bit. The campus community is vibrant. It's here for you. You can definitely go outside of the corner of campus that McCombs is at. So we have Texas Public Affairs with the LBJ Museum and Library right there. That's the building on the left, as well as the School of Public Affairs in the, in the back. Classic DC design, but beautiful libraries, beautiful campus. And you can see that hill, which if anybody followed the news last February when we had a massive ice storm, that was actually an amazing hill to do like sledding down. And you you wouldn't imagine that 
on a UT campus, but it was, it lended itself really well. There's also a ton of fun on campus. So we do have a spa style pool and set up at our Gregory gym, our main gym on campus. And I believe there's actually a, a massage service that you can reserve as a student. I haven't looked into it. I probably should given the, uh, how much I have going on, but it's, so amazing like you can go here you can have a great time go out with friends there's also an olympic style pool there so if you actually want to get a good workout by swimming you definitely can uh, texas volleyball is amazing it's so much fun it's honestly feels a lot louder than texas football some days because it's in our in gregory gym uh, we also have texas soccer women's soccer that's excellent to watch a beautiful field uh, we also have weight room training facilities all across campus so you have not only the nba gym that you have access to you have gregory gym you have the recreation center. There's another gym within the football stadium that you can actually take advantage of. And then of course, Texas football, which is always, always, always a fun time. And then we get outside of Austin and there's just so much to do. You can do greenery, you can do a hike, you can do water recreation. You can have, go for a kayak, a paddleboard. You can go running downtown. Maybe you wanna see some music through ACL or Go see you a couple weeks ago, F1. We're the only F1 track in the United States at the Circuit of Americas. Um, and I'll pause here. Andrew, what is the most fun you have in, in Austin out of any of these or maybe one that isn't listed? Um, so the one that I love most is the Barton Creek Green Belt. Hmm. Just you can walk as long as you could possibly want to walk uh, along that Green Belt. And it feels like you're in the wilderness, even though you're right next to Austin. It's crazy and it's amazing and it's a great time. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so speaking, not only you're, you're not only here for a student and to have a good time and, and go out and, and enjoy yourself, you're also looking for a job. Well, if you came to McCombs, if you're interested in McCombs and you want to stay in Austin, there is no shortage of companies looking at expanding in Austin and putting down roots. You can see the buildings here that are currently being built or have been built and the companies associated with them. Tesla has moved their headquarters. Oracle has moved their headquarters. Apple has a new campus that's the biggest one outside of Cupertino in Austin. HEB, which is a local grocer here in Central Texas, knows that Austin is where talent is for innovative solutions, so they have a digital office. Same deal with GM. You think uh, the big three automakers really won't go out of Michigan. Well, they will in Austin. And in the top right there, you can see Google. That is a new building that they just built, and I believe it's close to being finished. We also have an expansive alumni network. So you are joining the Texas Exes organization, which is half a million strong and growing within that subset. You're joining the Texas McCombs alumni organization, which is 100,000 and that's across all degree programs. And then if you go one subset down, you go down to the MBA alumni, which we are very tight. We have a culture of giving back and paying it forward. So going a little bit into career outcomes, of course, once you come here and, and you graduate, that's the, the goal to find a great career for yourself and set yourself on a, on a rock star trajectory. So the class of 2021, the class size is 254. We had 93% of our full-time office accepted at three months. And the base average salary was uh, about 130K for the internship so far for my class. Uh, so we have an internship last semester. Our class size was a bit smaller given COVID and, and the, the need to restrict the amount of people in a one classroom so we could go hybrid and be have the experience we did we had pretty much everybody do internships i think i can actually name the two people that didn't and i think that's because they did their own venture which is amazing and the average salary there is about eighty two hundred dollars which is excellent you're having some income during the mba which is fantastic there's also a breadth of opportunities by industry the most represented are tech consulting and financial services However, that doesn't mean that you cannot find your own opportunity, your own interest here at McCombs and then go straight into it. I will give a shout out to our 2020 employment report. We're working on the 2021 right now, but it is an excellent place to see all of the employers that are represented, that are required, that are hiring for McCombs, where our graduates go and much more data. So we'll definitely recommend you go and scour that. As far as numbers go for the full-time MBA class entering in fall of 2021, so that's really that's, that's Andrew's class, 270 students, average age and years of work experience and GPA and GMAT, those really don't change year to year. So we'll, we'll see that pretty much stay the same. Uh, we're looking at our class profile, 38% women. It's, it's a little lower than, we, than we'd like to see, but we are doing a lot of initiatives to work towards a 50-50 split. 
And we do love our international students, so want to make sure that we have good representation there to bring the global perspective into the McCombs program. A majority of our students do come from Texas, but you can see uh, last in Andrew's class, it was like outside of Texas. Andrew, where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts, so I am, I am far from home. That's but again, crazy. loving that it is in the 70s in November, that's very new for me. Yeah, I don't even know if it's snowing up there. I it just it just makes me shiver, but it's a little bit it outside. probably is. It probably is. <laughs> and then splitting it up further, uh, we also love our, our military, our veterans. We just had a Veterans Day celebration in in the common area of Macombs to have them share stories and also ask us questions and just be genuinely curious and accepting, and a good ally as well. A good call out, we have 48 consortium members, so the Consortium of Graduate Study and Management is something we take very seriously. This is our biggest class to date, and we're so excited. So applying to Macombs in the last couple of minutes, there is, of course, an application process. We want to make sure that we are learning the most about you in the best light that you can give us. Uh, the rounds there, we do, round one has gone. Round two, the next deadline is January 6th with notification in March, and then round three for March 29th, and then notification in May. So really the application components is gonna come down to your tests, your transcripts, your degree, if you are an international student, your TOEFL or IELTS work experience, we are gonna uh, ask for your resume. We do ask that it is within one page as much as possible. If it's two, that's okay. Try to fit everything in one page if you can. One professional recommendation is asked for, and it is okay if this is not your current employer. Mine was not. I was just hired at the company that I, was with and then i applied and i was like i don't want to just ask my boss that i just got hired to to be my recommender uh, so i asked a previous one and i made sure to spell all that out in the additional information um that is that, that is what is a good place to help with with that explanation of just the situation at all so in the work experience we do ask that you do have 24 months full-time work experience and and that's not a hard and fast requirement, but it really is just a consideration of your recruiting journey. Because MBA graduates are going into higher level positions, these positions may require a certain number of years of experience to apply. So we want to make sure that you are most competitive as a candidate here. And finally, you and Texas McCombs, this is a two essay. Uh, and these really are the places that we get to know you best. So one is a tell me about yourself. We don't want to see anything about work unless work is, is really who you are. And maybe you started your own business and that's just a culmination of everything you've done in life. But we want to know what do you like to do for fun? Uh, do you have passions? How do you go about doing them? Um, what are you really interested in? Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we're with somebody and we have somebody in a classroom that we would want to hang out with. And then the second essay is about your goals. We just want to make sure that you're doing your research, that you know what you're getting into and that you're excited. Uh, to be a McCombs MBA and just take advantage of everything we have and also give back and serve the university. And we also have interview by invitation. It is invitation only. Uh, you will be notified uh, within that deadline to notification time frame. And just a quick call out, we do not have a preference between GMAT or GRE uh, and transcripts do need to be uh, complete. If you have any questions on this, just go ahead and give us a, a shout out at texasmba at macombs.utexas.edu. Follow us online, we're pretty active everywhere. We also give applicants access to current students. If you are interested in learning more one-on-one, -on -one, you have questions that might pertain to someone's background more than others, then you can definitely take advantage of that by, by just scheduling a one-on-one -on -one chat with, with any of us. Um, there's also application workshops and tons of events that we're excited to host. And that is it for us. So I will do open up for Q&A. Thank you so much, Manolo. That was very insightful presentation, full of valuable information about Macombs and the Austin City. I think we are almost over time, so we cannot take any uh, questions uh, in this session. But yes, uh, in case you guys have any questions, we are having the Zoom breakout session with the Macombs team. Uh, the link is provided in the comment section, uh, so you can just you can just check it out and join the Zoom breakout. Thank you once again, everyone, and have a great day. Bye bye.